Hey guys, please look at this beautiful pattern. Uh, when I saw it first time on the internet, I really wanted to share with you because I think it's super beautiful. Especially I think it's good for blankets, dish clothes, actually even the cardigan probably. Uh, you can tell me exactly what you think about this pattern, where you think it's beautiful and what you want to do with it. It's super easy, I will explain each row and then you can always rewatch, go back. Uh, if we call them like the fan, so we have the full fan and then half of the fan and it just alternates. And in general, this is a very soft. I was using acrylic and this one was with three millimeter crochet hook. So you can use any yarn and that just the matching hook and it will look so awesome. Because we are using the back post stitch, we are creating these waves and uh, it looks very textured. So I think it's very beautiful, very easy to make and you can experiment with different colors and use for different garments that you want to crochet. That's it, let's get started. We are going to chain a multiple of 8 plus 1. So you can take any number that has multiple of 8 and plus 1 more chain. So I'm going to have 40 and plus 1, so 41 chains. So I'm making a slip knot and <laughs> I'm sorry. And chain 41 plus 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Continue until you have multiple of 8 plus 1. Now I have 41 and I'm going to chain 1 and make 1 double crochet into the 41st stitch or oh, 1 single crochet. So we are making just 1 row of single crochet into each stitch. one single crochet into each stitch I have finished to crochet the single crochet row and now we are starting our second row just chain three one two and three into the very first stitch we are going to make three double crochet one two and three Now we are going to chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and into the fourth one make one single crochet. Into both loops. Now chain one, two, Three, skip three stitches one two three and into the fourth one you are going to make a six double crochet so one into the same stitch you make another one 
two into the same stitch you make the third one the fourth five and six so you have six double crochet from the same stitch now chain three one two three skip three stitches one two three and into the fourth one make one single crochet so now you are going to chain three again one two three skip three stitches one two three and into the fourth one you make six double crochet one two and you continue like that so uh, six double crochet skip three stitches one single chain three and you chain three before and after six double crochet so here six double crochet chain three one single crochet chain three six double crochet we repeat until the end of the row I'm at the end of the row and I want to show you how to finish this row. So we are going to skip three stitches as well. One, two, three. Now chain three. One, two, three. And make uh, four double crochet into the very last stitch. So here is it. You are making four double crochet. Two, three, and four. Now we are ready to start the fourth row so just one chain one make one single crochet now yarn over and we are going to make back post double crochet so insert your hook like that yarn over and make one moment so here is our double crochet and we go yarn over pull the yarn pull through two and keep the loop on the hook so insert the hook from behind go like that grab the yarn pull pull through two and you have three loops now the last double crochet and pull through two loops you have four now we are going to skip this part where we have single crochet yarn over and here is our six double crochet we are going to do the same from behind so insert into this hole pull back the double crochet and grab the yarn 
pull through two we have five loops yarn over next double crochet i think it's called back post stitch so make three and now we must have seven loops yes seven loops you pull through all seven okay chain one so it looks like this now and uh, we have here we had four double crochet and we did back post stitch into these three then here into these three now we are going to chain three one two three and make single crochet after in the center so after the post stitch one two three between third and the fourth one single crochet now chain three again one two three and continue with this stitch so go from behind pull back the double crochet grab the yarn pull through two yarn over go from behind grab the yarn pull through two yarn over go from behind pull through two we make back post stitch into the three and now we skip this and we are moving to the next six and do the same so you put you with the hook you pull behind the double crochet grab the yarn pull through to one time so we are not finishing the double crochet stitch we are just picking up all the loops two and three and you must have seven of them yarn over pull through all seven chain one and now um, we are chain three more one two three skip this uh, one two three and between the third and the fourth you make one single crochet so it looks like that and continue until the end of this row so chain three again one two three make the back post stitch into the six and then chain three one single crochet and continue like that I have finished this row and now I'm at the end. I just chain three, one, two, three, and a single crochet into the very top of chain three of the previous row. So here. And I'm going to finish this row like this. So now we are starting the next row, chain one, single crochet into the very first stitch. I'm sorry, my baby wake up. So now we are going to make six double crochet into this uh, top of six double crochet of the previous row. So into here, then into here, you will see that it's sort of like a fan 
and in the top you must make six double crochet so insert one two three four five and six <clears throat> now we are going to make the single crochet in the top of the single crochet of the previous row make a single crochet now yarn over and here into this top you must make another six double crochet and like this you continue this row I have finished this row by making single crochet into the last stitch so we have here six then just make single crochet and the row is done so now we are going to start the next row chain three one two three turn your work and yarn over we are going to make a back post stitch so we find our first double crochet here and we start again one two and the last third stitch don't finish double crochet you have four loops yarn over pull through all four chain one to close as you can see here we start with four then four so uh, now we are going to make chain three one two three and between third and the fourth so one two three you make single crochet now chain three and you repeat again go make back pause one two three third so now skip here the one single crochet go back to the next fan and the three double crochet you make three back pass DC so yarn over and pull through then you have seven loops and pull through all seven and chain one to close it so they are they look like a fan so you can call them fans i was trying to write a written pattern for this one it's not so easy because i'm not a pattern designer i don't know exactly how to explain so it's easier for me to show the video but i will write everything i say like sort of into the text because you always ask me to write and I would love to <laughs> write the written pattern the way that you can understand it so if you later read it please uh, you can correct me you can send me the text with better explanation 
uh, I will try to write it in a proper way so even those who don't like to watch videos they can read on my blog and make this beautiful uh, pattern for blanket I don't know pillow whatever you want maybe even cardigan it looks very nice easy to make but not easy to actually put it into words at least for now one two three so chain three and now you go between the third and the fourth single crochet and one two three so we're gonna repeat and make another pen and then skip and continue until the end and then I show you how to start the next row so you already see how pretty and very easy and fast to make this so I'm finishing with uh, three back post double crochet and now I'm going to make one double crochet into the last stitch so technically we have like this uh, half of the fan then there is a full fan half of the fan and we will continue like this so now for example I'm going to chain one two three and So chain three and now where we have this 3dc of the previous row in the top of this little fan we are going to make three double crochet one two and three Now here we have single crochet, just make single crochet Now yarn over Here we have 6 So we are going to make 6 double crochet into the top of 6 DC into the previous row of the previous row Two, three, four, five, and six. And now a uh, single crochet where we have single crochet of the previous row and continue like that here you will have six double crochet single crochet six double crochet until the end of this row I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to make one double crochet into the last stitch and now just chain one make one single crochet into the very first stitch and now chain three one two three so we are going to make six dc six double crochet so first as usual we are not finishing it and moving to the next one 
we are taking another three this day. So in total we must have seven loops. As you can see we are already repeating this row. I don't know, something happened to my fingers. Like this, you have seven, yarn over, pull through all seven. And then chain one to close, then chain three, one, two, three, make single crochet between the third and the fourth chain three one two three and repeat and you continue until the end of this row so now 60 feet and single crochet in between third and the fourth and just continue so I have finished this row with chain 3 and one single crochet into that last stitch and um, as you can see the row that we just finished is the same as this row so if we don't count the foundation row of single crochet and then we say that this one is the first row this is the second row so this first row was exactly the same as this one and the second row is exactly what we did now so in my video i will put the time code for you to easy navigate in this video in case you forgot or didn't write the pattern so now uh, by yourself you must start uh, this row so it, we will call it row 3 and then you just uh, continue with the next row and like this so in each row I will um, put the time code so when you don't know how to start or finish the row you can go and rewatch just repeat this pattern and uh, you can crochet as big or small as you want. That's it for today and thank you for watching.